Welcome back to Rock the Plays. Rock the Plays. We're yeah. changing the name. Oh my gosh. I had a discussion with a friend recently and he just he said uh why not just call it Rock the Plays and I was literally he silent. He sort of just yeah, when he told me about it, he was sort of like you're going to it's going to blow your mind. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Well, Rock I didn't say the that. Plays. Yeah. Like I my friend my other friend was telling me that you're going to do adventure? adventure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um restart. Yeah, restart. Uh, restart yes. adventure. Cuz who cares? All right. Oh yeah, I have all the characters. Oh, yeah, you this do. Is, we just finished Sonic Generations, so this is just for fun. This for a is just while. messing around, yeah. hanging out. Um, but yeah, a friend of mine was like, "Why don't you just call it Rock the Plays?" And I was just like, silent for like a whole minute. I was just like, "Why did I not freaking think Never of that? Never thought of that. Rock the Plays, duh." So yeah, show is now called Rock the Plays. Yes. Because it just works, and plus, like, it kind of helps with the whole like I don't play just by myself, but sometimes I do. It's a variation every once in a while. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You got the fireball. I did. I love the fireball. Fireball's awesome. You got two balls. I got double. I just realized and what I said. I know. <laughs> Free ball. Speaking of which, I got a third ball now. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, because you hit the thing. Okay. I'm going to time this right. You got to time it right. Kaboom. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Dude, Peggle is so fun. Yeah, it is. I, I played this on my computer. Actually, yeah. you were the one who gave me the disc to play this on yeah. my computer. Yeah, and then for some reason I lost that disc. I gave it back to you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you gave it back to me. Okay. But I don't know where that happened to that disc. But the thing, the good thing now is that I have Peggle on Steam, so exactly. it's all good. Plus I have this. So. Steam makes everything better. Okay. Steam is good. Alright. Uh... uh. Uh, it's not what I wanted. Yeah, but. the Steam sales just ended recently. Did they? Yeah, and uh, did you get anything cool? Oh yeah, I actually last night. Um, <sighs> I, uh, during the sales, I bought Metal Gear Solid Five: The Ground Zeroes. Oh, neat! That like demo. Yeah. Kind of thing, like its own standalone thing. Um, and I was just like, it was only five bucks, so I was just like, I'll buy it just to see if it works, and if not, then Steam will let me get a refund. Sure. Yeah, they have a refund system now. Yeah. That's really cool. I was watching the uh, somebody talking about that. Right. But, um, yeah, so I, I booted it up last night, and I can actually play that game. This is surprising. I was so stoked about it. I can play that game on high settings on my laptop. Oh, really? That makes me so freaking So, happy. like, 4K or 1080p? Uh... I guess 1080p would be a good equivalent. It's right. just like high settings. So it's like high shadows, high rendering gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. And it makes me happy. There's only like a little bit of like like frame lag every now and then. Yeah. But it just, I'm so stoked that I can play like a modern Metal Gear game on my computer at high settings. This is <laughs> Hideo Kojima's last game with Konami, I believe. Unless they're just trolling us again. No, I hope not because, well, PT was canceled. Yeah. And so, and then they, they... What did they do? They took themselves out of the stock market. Mm-hmm. So, all right, your turn, bud. Oh, okay, cool. We'll, we'll do we'll do it by level. Yeah, back and forth. I'm not too uh, beat up about that. Hideo will find something cool to do in the future. Yeah. And plus, there's like the rumors that like Microsoft might get PT. Pick him up. Oh. And like the Silent Hills. Oh, I can only hope. Like, just like take Silent Hills and That would make be it. so great. I would that, would that would be a reason for me to get an Xbox One. I, I just, I wish I had the opportunity to play PT when it was still on PSN. Yeah, me too. And all, I, all I've all i done is watch Markiplier and Game Grumps and stuff. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like when I like when PT was like first like a really big thing. Yes. Like of course I watched like videos of it too. Oh, absolutely. And like the more I watched it, the more it scared me. Cause like the first time I was just like, okay, this you is pretty cool. You should really watch the Great Debates video on the lore of the PT, and it's really interesting. Huh. Because the story isn't given to you; it's given to you in like bits and pieces. Yeah. And they compile it together into this theory. It's really cool. Interesting. Yeah. Ka boom, smash. Yeah, but I mean, dirt, you know, doofy rabbit. But yeah, like neither of us, you know, have PS4s. When, no, no. And I still don't have one yet. But Not yet. my birthday's coming up soon. That's true. And I'm That's saving very up. True. I am saving up the money. To what I want to do is, um, Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. Just came out, 
Ooh. like today, I think. Yeah, today. Nice. Um, and so there's already uh, like Best Buy has a bundle to get the PS4 with and the Batman. Oh, and that's the Batman cool. game uh, for like 400 bucks. And I have a actually I think I mentioned this when I first upgraded my phone. But because I upgraded to an LG phone, yeah. I got a hundred dollar gift card for Best Buy with it. Oh, you lucky dog! Yeah, so that's so you gonna... can put that towards the PS4. Yep, saving money. <laughs> yeah, right, saving as much money as this. I can. And yeah, I think the PS4 is probably gonna be my last. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the PS4 is probably gonna be my last big like expenditure for a while, because I just got to think got about to save that money up. Save that money for adult things there like. It is. Someday getting an apartment and Absolutely. stuff. Get a hundred thou. Hundred thousand. Ah! Don't do ten thousand. Nah, come on, bounce out. You suck. Aww. That always teases you. Just like I'm really gonna get a hundred thousand. No. He's a jerk. Next level. Yeah. All right, your turn. Sweet. I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of episodes because we already finished two levels and we still have four minutes. I left. know. I know. Probably like two episodes max, really. Or we could just make this a one-off and just make it like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, let's just do a one-off. Okay, and cool. We'll just go like a little bit extra or something. Gotcha. And I have to burp again. <laughs> burp, my friend. Yes, I like to burp. I like to expel gas from my face. Wish I had a lighter to hold in front of your face. Just like, ah. Oh. I don't think it works that way. No, it doesn't. It only... You can light a fart, though. Oh, yeah. I've seen videos where people... <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> oh, no. It wasn't fun. I bet, because your butthole is probably like... <laughs> no! I still have the pair of shorts. <laughs> I still have the shorts. And there's just like a hole in there. there there's a black spot. <laughs> Are you sure it's not from that time when you pooped everywhere? Oh, well, that's a different pair of shorts. <laughs> and I don't have those anymore. <laughs> I threw them away. They know what they did. They did, yes. <laughs> I just realized I could probably charge my phone right now. You probably could. Do I'm you gonna, have a charger? I do. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Because okay. I didn't get it to 100% charge earlier. I haven't even taken my phone out of its box. I'm so ready to. <laughs> just get home and start playing with it. Oh, I will. But at the same time... It's kind of like, you ever get something new and you're just like, I don't want to touch it. It's never going to be this new again. Yeah. Well, that's why, like, with some electronics that come with, like, the little, like, plastic wrap. Yeah. Or the plastic strip where you, like, pull it off. Yeah, like, I don't like, take especially it. For, I never take it off. Especially for, like, phones where it's on the screen. Like, I just want to wait as long as I can. Yeah. Before, like... I'm getting an OtterBox for it. That's yeah. for certain. I... I chose not to get an <laughs> OtterBox just because... Oh my god! It went through and in between everything. That was pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, I chose not to get an Otter Box for mine just because, like, ever since like my previous phone had like the kickstand, I'm just like, I'm oh all, yeah, I'm all about kickstands now. So, and I'm not really in any situations where I'm gonna be like high contact and the phone might be damaged. No, I understand. <laughs> But I mean, Autobots is just a popular brand, and they're popular for a reason. Yeah, well, I see, like, I do stuff like construction and, like, building things, and so leaving my phone out somewhere is what I do, and yeah. I, I'm always, yeah, 100,000. Oh, nope, 10,000. Nah, 50. Yeah, you gotta you're get right. 10,000. get 10. <laughs> I got 10. It always does that. It just always, like, teases you with that. Ugh. Next level. Next level. Uh, who would I want? Yeah. Multi ball. Yeah, this would be a good one. For That's the best one. Ka a boom. Oh gosh, triple play. Oh dude. <laughs> Pachinko all up in this place. You don't even know about my face. I'm gonna hurt you. Don't Sorry. please. <laughs> Just like I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, get louder and louder. Like a, like a rapper gets like a little too mad when yeah. he's rapping. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you really bad. I'm hurt you really bad. <laughs> I've Tom been... Cruise wouldn't come out of the closet. <laughs> so I pull out my gun <laughs> and I shoot everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> ben, I'm scared. Oh, I love South Park. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was it was the episode where Tom Cruise was like in Stan's bedroom and he like got mad, so he hid away in his closet, and the whole joke was just like, What's going on, honey? Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get 10,000, maybe not, maybe, I don't freaking know. Um, uh, oh, you got it! Oh! Dude! <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then all those like extra balls pew, got pew, me. Pew 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 What? <laughs> Here you go. All right. Yeah, you can turn that off. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Turn your time ball off. Uh, what does this guy do? Causes the ball to spooky reappear. Oh yeah, if it falls to the bottom, then it comes yes. back up to the top. Uh, Water. You know what? I'm going random. Ah, oh, that works. Delicious. Water, the essence of life. It actually is. <laughs> Our bodies are made up. By the way, you don't drink soda that often, but don't drink sangria to blast. This is nothing against Mountain Dew, by the way. It's just, personally, it started to give me really bad stomach pains. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I sort of stopped. What's it called? It's called sangria to blast. It's another Taco Bell exclusive. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, yeah, I think I heard it's around for the summer. It's, it's like a berry kind of thing. And it's good. It's really good. But it hurts. But <laughs> it, it personally hurt me. <laughs> it waited till you were in the parking lot and then beat you up. It basically, yes. <laughs> I was in the bed and I was just like, why do I want to barf? I don't need to barf. I didn't need to five minutes ago. And then I was like, oh. Oh, wow. Nice. That was awesome. Free ball. And I'm free. No. Free ball. No. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. I went there and I did that. <laughs> I need to get some Baja Blast. It's been a while. It's great. You know what? That's I think my they have favorite. them. I think I have them. Okay. Couple questions for you. Okay. All right. Favorite Mountain Dew of all time. Favorite top three. How about that? Okay. Favorite three. And this can be stuff that's out now or disc oh, or discontinued stuff. It doesn't matter. Right. Um. Favorite three, starting from least to most. Okay. Uh, Baja Blast. That's a good one. Uh, Mountain Dew Code Red Diet because diet yeah because me and my me and my friend used to um like I would like hang out at his house like every weekend and like yeah. oh, we yes. play we would play Tony Hawk and drink Mountain Dew Mountain Code Red Dew Diet. Code, Code Red Diet nice and you know just like a memory thing for me yeah um and then I have a a, a memory thing in just a second yeah. too and then favorite is Mountain Dew Throwback because of the real sugar yes absolutely my favorite right now in Oh. Oh. Okay, 50 though, that's good. That's pretty good. And the order from least favorite to favorite, it's probably got to be Solar Flare, which is a 7-Eleven exclusive. Oh, okay. It's a, like a, a big gulp thing. Um, could Red, for sure. And then Baja Blast, because I have a memory as well. Me, you know Phil and Shane and Max and everybody. Yeah, yeah. My friends and I were having this video game night, and so we went to Taco Bell. And uh, we went there at about 11.20. Oh, I think I know this story. You remember this, yes. So yeah. me and Shane were at the window. We ordered like 50 tacos or something like that. And we waited and waited. And for those of you who aren't in the... It's like... That's pretty specific. It, well, yeah, bleep that out. Whatever. <laughs> if you're not in this area. This particular area, the Taco Bell is awful as far as service goes. We sat there for an hour and it was like... In the drive-thru. In the drive-thru until it was like 12, 12. Shane, the guy comes over and he says, okay, we're almost done. Shane, dead serious, looks this guy in the eye and says, we ordered this yesterday <laughs> yesterday and we got free baja blasts <laughs> we ordered this yesterday, yesterday. it was a funny at myself. the time <laughs> can i try again do it do it okay again. cool yes so um now this was a question that i had for you on the sonic playthrough and i just never got to ask right what is your favorite type of fart <laughs> From a completely comic com comedic standpoint, what is the one fart that really gets you every time? I gotta think about that now. It's From difficult, a comedic, right? From a comedic standpoint. From a, it, just whatever, your favorite. The one that gets you in the gut. Um, Literally. I think, honestly... Yeah? It... I think it's got to be one where it's just like a huge outburst and it like goes on for a little while. So it's not yes. like, it's not just like one that's just like, poof. Yeah. It's got to be like a big one, but not, not that long. It's got to be like, 
like three seconds long tops. Okay. So it's like... And then that's it. That's yeah, it's, it's got to be like a big kind of. Like, that's respectable. That's like, a good one. And I like I can't. It's hard for me to do like airy farts with my mouth because I always do like disgusting like diarrhea poop farts. <laughs> but <laughs> like, yeah, like a big explosive like airy fart, like a fan is like shooting methane out your butt. <laughs> <laughs> like I did the er, a little bit earlier, like except a lot doing. longer. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a little gassy today. <laughs> um, I'd have to say. Yeah, what's your favorite? Fart? My favorite is. The one that starts out low and just gets squeaky. <laughs> so it goes. <laughs> like. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, I was I was trying to think of like if I wanted, if I liked squeaky or not. Yeah. 100,000! Nice, that's two in a row. Cop for yous. Alright, you play? Alright, cool. Yeah, I was trying to think of if I like squeakies, and I do like squeakies, but I just really, there's just something so funny about like a huge outburst of just. Yes. Poof. Uh, I love it. Probably because like in real life it feels so good, because usually the only time you get those it's, is if you're It's stomach. like you get the. Oh, yeah, like, yes. Like your stomach just hurts yep. so bad, mm -hmm. and then like you just finally release the kraken. The kraken. <laughs> well, Alright, what do I want here? I guess Unicorn Dude. It's funky music. It's so funky, yeah. I like the funk. I, l I love the funk. Oh, don't you know about the funk, man? Oh, I was hoping you are going to get that orange. Uh, nope. Oh, I got a free ball, though. Uh-huh. Oh, I love <laughs> this guy. Okay, so let me plan this out. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Got all four. Did you have any other questions for me? Um, I can think of a few. <laughs> if you'd like me, I will. Uh, uh, I'm curious. <laughs> let's see. Nice. Thank you. Um, oh, okay. Here's a good one. What are you really looking forward to from the E3 uh, presentations? E3. You haven't really talked about E3 much. E3 is done. No, I know, but what are you looking forward to that they, oh, presented? That they presented? Yeah. yeah. So what? What is? What are you really excited about? Um. Well, I'm, I'm definitely really interested in that game Unraveled now. Like I told you the story about like the guy who was on stage and he was really nervous. Yes, he, he did. Thing. So I'm looking. I'm interested in that one. Um. Uh. There was crap. There was definitely Star Fox Zero for the yeah, Wii, man. for the Wii U because I'm a huge Star Fox fan. Absolutely. I uh. I personally, uh, I'm looking forward to this Assassin's Creed. Oh, and uh, For Honor, I believe. Yeah, I'm not really into either of those. I, I'm looking forward to For Honor a lot because I love that kind of multiplayer feel. Right. And and I've always loved medieval stuff. Yeah. And the the fact that you can be a ninja or a, a knight... You can be a ninja in that you game? Can, you can be... There are three different factions. There's ninjas, like samurais... Um, there's the knights, and then there are the Vikings. So you can be any of those. And oh, wow. Yeah, and I, I was watching. A, I was watching a demo. Oh, yeah, because the samurais are very quick, and they're vi they get out. Oh, they get out of there fast and do the job. But they aren't so great on defense, whereas knights are. Right. So you can uh, sort of strategize around those different skill sets yeah i'd imagine like knights are kind of like the vanilla they they are they're yeah. very they're defensive and offensive at the same time whereas the vikings are extremely offensive and uh and very strong but they're not that fat come on give me a few balls yeah i think i can get this one but yeah I, i've always liked that right and um i mean i I saw the trailer during the E3 conference and I wasn't impressed, so maybe if something else it comes along. It is pre-alpha. That's true. It looks really good for pre-alpha. Yes, it does. Uh, but then again, that's the one part of the game that they're showing us. Oh, yeah. So, come on, can I? Can I? Although the, the E3 presenter was pretty cool because he was like this dude with like a big, long beard. And yeah. He was walking around with a cane. The one that I, I didn't actually see the E3 part of it for that one. Give me the 100 thou. Come on. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> I got half. Um, here you go. My turn. I, uh, there was something really weird on the video I watched. It was like, hello, I am the audio technician for the Assassin's Creed. And I was like, 
why is the audio technician showing gameplay talking about gameplay <laughs> it was just very odd to me but still looks good oh and uh star wars battlefront oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was kind of cool to like see like near the end of the trailer you could play as luke to fight uh darth Vader. that's so cool yeah boom nice that was cool yeah uh, there's definitely some other stuff in E3, but I just, I can't remember. Can't remember? Yeah. That's all good. But I had to burp from my the champion. The Nintendo Championships were pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. That was Especially, really cool. Did you see? Aaron got really far. I, I missed most of the, actually, because I was working that night. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it was on YouTube. Or that you day, watch it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but dude, did you? So you saw the whole championship, right? I saw the whole thing. The freaking three Bowsers on top of each other. Yes! Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> There's already like memes of it, like never forget. And That's stuff. so funny. <laughs> I, I absolutely uh, adored uh, DJ Wheat's son in the very beginning, Mini Wheat. <laughs> Mini he was Wheat. like a professional. Uh, uh, what's a, a Splatoon player? He was talking like he was a. 25 year old man <laughs> he was making points like uh, you know you can't the coverage on the walls doesn't count and kaboom kaboom that was very charming yeah i know i want to get splatoon at some point i'd love to because that's a i bet it's a really fun game to play with friends yeah i played the demo and i really liked it and is that Tempo. nice is that a uh a next gen exclusive not 360 and PS3. Yeah, it's only Wii U. It's Wii U. Okay. It's a new Nintendo. That's IP. right. It's a Nintendo title. What am I all thinking? All right, let's make this the last level. Okay, cool. Because <clears throat> I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, you gotta go to church. I gotta, I gotta do vacation Bible school. Yeah. Oh, that's what BB, VBS stands for. <laughs> uh, I was like, real. I don't. Oh, that, I don't know why that reminds me. No, I know why that reminds me. Um, so, I, like I said earlier, I was at the movies yesterday to see Inside Out. Yes. And um, they had some trailers uh, for some upcoming movies that I'm looking forward to. Nice. And one of which, it? One of which was Hotel Transylvania 2. That's so cool, man. Because I really liked that movie when it came out. I never out. saw the first one, and we should watch it together if you we have should. it. I don't have it, but... Um, we can probably stream it somewhere. I've got the Roku. It's probably on there somewhere. Possibly. And uh, but, I uh, saw Poltergeist recently as well. Oh, the remake? Yeah. What'd you think? Absolutely enjoyed it, 100%. Really? It was uh, a very cool twist on the old story, um, and it made itself scary and relevantly scary. So it it's hard to explain, but it, it just brought a lot of modernization to it. Right. So I really enjoyed it. And there were some very funny moments in there too. It wasn't afraid to be comedic. Hmm. I never saw the original Poltergeist. So it, it was, you, you should watch it if you have any interest in classic horror movies. Probably. Yeah. Kaboom. Just bam. Aww. Yeah, I'm, all of a sudden my my energy tank is starting to run low. I'm just running low. <laughs> like, uh-oh. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Probably need to eat dinner or something. <laughs> yeah, you really do. Have you eaten today? Yeah, I had lunch earlier. Oh, okay, so cool. Jacob, have you eaten today? I'm your mother now. No. <laughs> all right. Ka. Oh. I was trying to be, like, fancy and cool, but no. Ooh. There you go. Give me that 100000 This is pachinko. Everything I deserve fancy. it. Nah. You're gonna get a hundred thousand. I'm gonna get ten thousand. I mean ten thousand. Yeah, <laughs> I, I deserve it. 10, I deserve 000. it. Oh, you suck. <laughs> okay, right. guys, we will see you next time on Rock the Plays. And Rock the Plays. Something completely different. Hope you guys like the new name. Yes. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>